for the families of David, James, and Corey, including from a friend of mine who just called up and sent me a check right here. I just got it. One million dollars. From Dan Newland, thank you, Dan. And again, when speaking to the family, I told them, I said, well, We'll be sending you a lot of money, but it can't compensate. They all said the same thing. You're right, sir. We appreciate so much what you're doing, but nothing can take the place in the case of Corey. And the other two, by the way, they were very, very seriously injured, but now they're doing very well. They're going to be okay. What are you doing, The Warriors. So now... I ask that we observe a moment of silence in honor of our friend, Corey. There is no greater love than to lay down one's life for others. This is the spirit that forged America in her darkest hours, and this is the love that will lead America back to the summit of human achievement and greatness. This is what we need. Despite such a heinous attack, we unite this evening more determined than ever. I am more determined than ever, and so are you. So is everybody. unbroken and our purpose is unchanged to deliver a government that serves the American people better than ever before. Nothing will stop me in this mission because our vision is righteous and our cause is pure. No matter what obstacle comes our way, we will not break, we will not bend, we will not back down, and I will never stop fighting for you, your family, and our magnificent country. And everything I have to give with all of the energy and fight in my heart and soul, I pledge to our nation tonight. Thank you very much. I pledge that to our nation. We're going to turn our nation around, and we're going to do it very quickly. Thank you.